good youtube scotty t back in the place to be i'm walking i got a lot of stuff to do and i ain't posted uh, a lot of videos in a minute so that's why i'm walking and doing this uh, i might put my headphones in halfway in between so yeah but i just got out of this discussion what you call it a lecture about race-based trauma is the thing here yeah i'm about to show you the thing in a minute race-based trauma with monica t williams as you can see right there you know i was involved in that and um it was a pretty good pretty good discussion i ain't gonna get a lot into what happened because it was a lot and i met her earlier this day when i was in class and shit but um basically it just talked about how like how like when we see uh, our black individuals, our black brothers and sisters, when we see them, um, you know, they post the videos of them dying, how that's like basically a modern day lynching. Cause you know, back in the day, around the beginning of the 1900s, uh, they used postcards to uh, like with pictures of them standing next to lynched individuals and stuff. So, you know, it was crazy. On the right quick, I'm gonna put my headphones on. Yeah, no, I had just walked past a crowd of people. It was crazy. I didn't know where they where they came from. But um, yeah, like I was saying though, uh, just basically, basically what I wanted to talk about today is just simple. Like, whatever happened to the phrase "treat people the way you want to be treated"? You know what I'm saying? Like. All this hatred, like who has time to hate people? Like really, do you know how long and strenuous it takes to hate people? That shit is a lot. Niggas leave their door wide ass open. Anyway, um, but yeah man, it takes a lot to hate people. And uh, it takes nothing to love each other, you know? And uh, that goes for all statuses. If it's in terms of race, uh, gender, you know what I'm saying? Religion and all that, man. Just treat people the way you want to be treated. You feel me? Because, one, I believe in karma. So, you know what I'm saying? If you if you hating people, then eventually that hate is going to come back on you or or somebody you love is going to affect you in some in some way, shape, or fashion. You know? So, um, we just, we just got to, especially since Trump is in office, and all these Nazis and all these white supremacists are starting to starting to come out of hiding and just openly admit to this. And it's just like, damn, y'all openly doing it? KKK off the terror watch group list? Like, what the hell is going on? You know what I'm saying? Like, we need more positivity in the world. And uh, basically, like, you got to be the change you want to see in the world. You know what I mean? So uh that 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 like that just goes to show. You know? Um uh, sweet. Um I jacked somebody's lighter. It's just standing right there. I was just I just took it. You wanna see it? See? We the people. We the people created this country. Which even further baffles me as to how like like, how are we so hated against and discriminated against? Like, I don't understand it. Y'all call us lazy, but y'all travel all the way from whence y'all came to our home continent to drag us to another place, to a continent that ain't even yours, that you also took over from Native Americans and the indigenous people, and you call us lazy. Then on top of that, you enslave us, you keep us enslaved, you kill us, you do all this shit, and we still ain't get no reparation. But it's like, I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, like, especially in today, you know how people just, social media just makes people insane. People these days are insane in general. Either that or the media is just making it seem like everybody's insane. But you know, man, like, we we gotta do better, all of us, black people and, and black people especially. Like, 
Cause look, I don't know about y'all, but I'm tired of seeing this oppression everywhere. See, like, and and and, and like, it's crazy because I don't want to say I've never been discriminated against, but I think the reason I specifically have never been targeted, like, on on, on levels others have, is because. I'm 5'4", 140. So, in my eyes, I don't think anybody sees me as a threat. So, you know, but, you know, there's people out here, you you, you, you could be black and be a child, and then people are still can care about you. But us black people, we need to really, really, really stick together and, like, come together, man, because, like, think about it. We killing ourselves. Like think about that. Like, like, like some of us are really killing ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be suicide or whether it be just like, you know what I'm saying? Black on black crime. Like, what's the point of this? Like, especially for gangs. I ain't, I ain't trying to blow down on no gang. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you do you, that's that's cool. But listen, why shoot your fellow man over nothing? Over a street and a color? Like if you if y'all fighting over a street, why not fight the real oppressors? And y'all don't even have to fight over streets. Y'all could own a whole state, a whole state, bro. We could own a whole country. And not worry about street corners. Like, come on, we gotta get it together. You know, and um, it's trust me, it's a lot harder said than done. Cause it's generations on on generations, hundreds and hundreds of years of of all this. You know what I'm saying? And and, and, and it gotta come to an end at some point. You know, it has to. It's one way or another, it has to come to an end. And I'm not trying to see that end be the end of black people as a as a as a race uh, as a race and ethnic group. So it's like, you know, we just gotta do better. I hope you we can live in a world where one day it's no hate. It's it's a lot. Like it's it's hard to imagine, yeah, but I mean it, it is possible. It is possible it can happen. And I'm willing to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? That's that's why I treat everybody with with respect, you know what I'm saying? That's what we should do in general. Like everybody you see, man, just treat them with respect, man, because cause ain't nothing like that, man. Ain't nothing like that feeling of knowing that 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 you're doing good, not because you have to, but because it you should. And that makes you feel good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's what we need more of, so, you know what I'm saying? Just practice that, uh, whether it be person to person, you know, start off slow if you have to. Just do a random act of kindness and, and be consistent with it, you know what I'm saying? Every day, help your fellow man, help your fellow woman, you know, uplift each other. It's cool, okay, you want to crack jokes and all that, but after a while, jokes turn into subconscious hate. You know what I'm saying? And, and we can't have that. So, you know what I'm saying? Uplift each other and create more positive vibes. And let's let's get out of this situation. You know what I'm saying? So, appreciate y'all. Have to post a video for the YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I know it's been a long time. I know. I'm sorry. I got school. I gotta graduate, man. You know, gotta do what I gotta do, but appreciate y'all for watching and um catch y'all next time.